after peer review. About a thousand people took part in a march through Dublin earlier today as part of the March for Science. It describes itself as an international initiative to stand up for science and evidence in the face of an alarming trend towards discrediting scientific consensus and restricting scientific discovery. The most obvious threat, of course, being the climate denialism of the current Trump regime in the United States, uh, which has gone so far as to start to suppress evidence and da even data that's been collected over the last decade showing the threat posed by climate change. All this, of course, is being driven by the big oil companies, which are basically playing the same role that the tobacco companies played in the 1970s. They know what the science actually is, but they know if they can manage to stop policy being formed on the basis of that science, then they can continue to make money for another decade or two. In other words, this attack on science isn't just driven by the irrationality of the right and the far right, but by the quest for profits. And in that context, it's important to be critical of one aspect of this defence of science, and that is the lack of criticism about what science has become in the last couple of decades, something that increasingly has been taken over by corporate interests, with research being funded that will lie in lines with those interests, but often not being funded if it goes against that. All this is very related to the transformation of universities into factories for producing workers and the downgrading of subjects that aren't seen as uh, producing people ready for the workforce, particularly sort of humanities type subjects. All too often science departments have allowed themselves to be enrolled in this in the short term uh, quest for a bigger uh, slice of funding for themselves. They've also been very implicated in taking in industry funding um, and that funding is always going to come with strings. It's precisely this issue that has enabled the far right to generate hostility to science as part of its war against Enlightenment thinking in general. They want to return to a situation where anything can be believed in, uh, whatever you want, aliens, UFOs, or indeed that the Holocaust never happened. So while we need to be critical of these aspects of what science has become, it was fantastic to see such a good turnout uh, today. And in particular, whatever criticisms we do have, have to recognise the extreme urgency of dealing with the climate, deni climate change denialism of the Trump administration, something that is very literally bringing us to the brink of destruction.